Welcome back to Arts and Crafts. We have missed you so much and we wish we could be in the building again, but we've got goodies to go. So we'll have a different art or craft each month, at least through the end of the year, that you can register for and you can come in and pick your packet up. So thanks for joining us. And here's our September Art and Craft. We'll provide you with the mini breadboard, some um, vinyl, and the um, transfer tape is already put together for you, so you don't need to worry about it. Basically, you have a decal to go. The decal will look like this when you get it. And you will need something like this paddle or a credit card, something that isn't sharp on the edge, because that helps you when you put this decal down on the breadboard to really push it in there so it stays. We have a glue gun here to put some embellishments on later and a little bit of raffia. This is a finished project, so it's just kind of a mini breadboard. We've got a decal for you, a little bit of raffia, probably some embellishments. Um, and this is the, the finished product. But you can certainly decorate it any way you wish. Um, one other idea is if on the back you wanted a vertical design, um, the one we're sending out isn't going to quite work for that, but it's another idea that you could come down and Cricut cut out something on the Cricut down in the makerspace at the library. We'd be happy to help you do that, and you could apply it that way as well. So, why don't we get started? But on the breadboard, I've got this decal. And I will, it's shiny on this side. You have to peel off the layer. And what happens is you will have that clear piece with the decal on it. And this back side will come off because you don't want that on your board. All right. So you want to peel these two pieces away. The black part should stay on the clear film and the other part should come off. Like I said, it should cooperate. And you can just rub against that black part to get it to stick to the clear film if it starts to lift up a little bit. So you fold those two pieces apart. And I've got this. So then you'll want to center it or arrange it. It doesn't have to be centered. Arrange it on the board wherever you want it placed. So I'm just laying that down on top of it. And then once it's where I want it to be, I will take this and just rub it across there because that is going to get the adhesive on the back of your decal to actually attach itself to that wood surface. And this is another one. Go ahead and put it on there pretty, you know, rub against, rub it on there really well. But if as you're peeling this clear part off, it sticks a little bit or you're pulling some of your design up, go back with this and just squish it down again. Um, the other thing that might be handy to have would be like a toothpick something that'll help you get those edges um, pulled down the vinyl on your board. This is um, permanent black vinyl, so it really should stick well to the breadboard once you get it going. And it is a practice and patience. It doesn't Hurrying this project will not, uh, you probably won't like the results. How's that? So as we continue our practices and patience this year, we'll just keep going. Sometimes you have to change the angle that you're pulling the, the uh, clear film away and it allows you to get in a little bit different place. Getting there. The other thing you might want to do is 
as you get some of this film off is to trim it. Then you don't have quite as much sticky moving all at the same time. And you can just get another hold on that film to pull it up. And when you get done and you get, um, as long as you have a blunt edge on this, you can go back on those just to make sure they're really stuck down on the board well. Another option, which I did not do on this, is you might want to go over it with uh, a clear layer, maybe of Mod Podge or a sealer might help. I can't guarantee that because I have not tried it, but I think with most things, if you add another layer of um, sealer, it will probably hold it in place just a bit better. But since these aren't intended to go outside, um, probably not as much of an issue as if it were something to put on your front door. Ha! Ah, it did come off. So then I'm just going over it with this paddle a little bit to get it in place. And there you're set. Then the next part is kind of the fun. How much do you want to embellish it? Do you just want to put a leaf and a sunflower and call it good. Um, other options would be to add some raffia, which comes in all kinds of colors. Um, in your packet, you'll find some of the natural color and then some of this red. So you could mix and match that and um, just tie it. You know, if you want to do a couple loops around here and then tie it. It was kind of fun to do a bow on that other one and you could make that as fluffy or simple as you wanted to and then just trim the tails as you want um, and then i took a sunflower um, there are all kinds of stickers and things at hobby lobby that you could add to that maybe you don't want a sunflower maybe um, you just want a leaf that tucks in there somewhere you could tuck it at you know back in behind and have a couple of those lots of choices um, these little burlap flowers are kind of pretty with a gem in the middle i like the white just because it shows up better on um, the board but you could put it on the board you could put it on the ribbon i'm just going to pop it on top of the raffia I tied. They do not have sticky backs on them, so yes, you do need your trusty glue gun to um, add it. But when you get done, you have something like this, and you can add additional embellishments if you have things that you love at home, or just leave it plain. So here's our finished product today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope that you enjoy taking your project home to work on. And we would love to see what your finished product looks like. So if you want to go ahead and post it on our Facebook page, that would be fabulous. Um, so we look forward to seeing what you create. And we look forward to seeing you again next month for a new art or craft. So you can embrace your creative side. Thank you.